and 50 kindling two pound milk. Yes, they got milk down. Lovely. Clean and Popeye. So all of these things you should be able to find in houses, or some of them at least. You might find baby oil, brasso for cleaning metal and stuff, tipex, Vaseline, you probably find that in the garage, that in the shed. What's that? Them, that's um, WD-40. You find that in any smoke alarm. Custard powder, all of this stuff, it's flammable. That's Go it. to a garage <laughs> and you find some steel wool. So what you want to do is you want to find the thinnest stuff that you can get. This is our... Um, tinder this is our fine stuff all we're going to do is we're going to get this and any other fuel source that you want okay to extend it so cotton wool that will burn for a bit longer even bicycle inner tube will burn a bit longer all you have to do is that oh my goodness you can put anything flammable in there and it will catch on to that and it will start your fire in here is what some awesome youtube guy made for me years ago he's even put my name on it comms prepper on that Mm. That's a big lump of magnesium. Oh, That's wow. a ferro rod, which yeah. we had before. And if we really had to, we can carve bits of wood off of this to make our fire going. So all it is, is that stuff in there, is oh, no. this. And you just create your own shavings. You see them all coming off? Yeah. You get enough of that pile, and you wow. put a spark on there, you get fire straight away. Giving you loads more time to put your little sticks, lolly sticks, toothpicks, whatever it is you want to mm. put on there mm. to catch and extend it, okay? Boot polish. Whereas there is a true story, this guy um, goes into the shop. <laughs> right. Can it's, I film like, this or it not? Sounds, it sounds like a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like an Irishman and Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> and an Irishman. Into a pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes into the shop and this other guy was in the shop um, with his son. His son cuts himself on one of the um, shelves, one of the little signs of the prices, he cut his finger. And he goes up to the guy from the checkout and he said, have you got any plasters? And he goes, oh no, we don't sell plasters. This is like whatever shop it was. And the guy who was in there overheard what was going on. He walked up to him and he goes, oh, so look, oh God, you need a plaster on that. He said, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, hold on. He got his wallet open, opened it up and had a, a plaster in there. Mm. And he goes, oh my God, he said, what are you doing with a plaster in your wallet? And he said to him, why haven't you got one in yours? And from that moment on, yeah. the guy's, the son's dad was like, from that moment on he carried plasters in his wallet, just in case it happens again. And it probably did. But the point is, always carry stuff in your wallet, yeah. other than just crap. Why stop there? So in my <laughs> wallet, I've got this, and it's one little bag, and it's just full up with different tablets. Aspirin, 300 milligrams important, because if someone has heart attack, soluble, 300 milligrams is good. You have 75 mils, it's not enough to thin the blood quick. 300 milligrams. 300 milligrams um, dis dispersible aspirin, that's the one. The one that dissolves in your mouth, all right? Um, paracetamol, ibuprofen, and I've got some hay fever, some allergy tablets. Mm. The reason I put allergy tablets in there, if you get bit by mosquitoes, you have them straight away. The itching stops within about 20 minutes. Mm. And it works for 24 hours. Water purification tablets. So you can have like um, a litre of crappy water. You put one of those in half an hour, shake it, you can drink it. Mm. It tastes a bit bleachy, but you won't die because it'll kill off all the bugs in there. So yeah, just simple little tiny things that you can put in your everyday wallet. And this is an RFID blocker. Mm. So all my cards, I can go past some clever dick with some device and you won't be able to scan any of my stuff. These are good, if you can get these. These were sent from a friend in America. You had a um, paracord or parachute cord. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. all this stuff. I've got some of that. It comes with a parachute, obviously. But in here, if I'll show you. Look inside the middle when you take it apart. Now, box standard paracord, you usually have roughly seven different strands. So you can make um, fishing nets, you can make traps, snares, mm. Mm. anything that you want to. These are very, very strong. But this red one here, you fluff that up and you put a spark on it, catches fire. But one of the coolest things a lot of people use this stuff for is their boot laces. Mm. So if they're out and about, something happens, at least they know they can undo a bit of their boot lace, get this out and get a fire going. It's Fire Dragon Gel. Mm. So when we square that open on it, that's all it is. But the beauty of this stuff is, 
is freezing cold. It's, it's like a, a gel version of hand sanitizer. Mm. Yeah. So we've got bacterial bugs on your hands. This would absolutely kill anything it comes in contact with. They issue these to the British Armed Forces to cook their food with them. Years ago, they used to have things called hexi blocks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you remember, yeah. <laughs> Another thing is this stuff. All it is is rope. And you see all the ropes just gone in there. Mm. It's just been twisted around and it's been soaked in some crazy chemical some American invented. And that's exactly the same thing. You'll get a bit of that, you cut it off with your knife, you fluff it up, put a spark on there. That will burn for like five minutes. What about gaffer tape? We all got this, haven't we? Yeah, that's my own. I mean, this stuff's invaluable. I'll get some sooner or later because the prices, for some weird reason, are going up all the time. It burns like a bad man, it really does. So you just put that in there, you get your lighter. And it's exactly the same principle as the, the inner tube. There's so many things that you could aid and help your fire get going. Who knows what this stuff is? Oh, it's like um, inside a drawer. Yeah. Fluff. Wall plugs. Mm. Absolutely, they'll burn as well. Anything which is going to burn, pretty cool. And it's just another method of extending your fire time. Mm -hmm.